Now, this is a super common question that I've gotten so many times when it comes to being an Uber driver and a Lyft driver, and it makes sense. What is, if you had to pick one, what is the number one way to make the most amount of money as a driver? Now, before I reveal that, I want to say as a quick side note, I've said this before in a bunch of other videos, the number one factor that really does determine how much money you can make is your location. And I know that's annoying because that might not be in your control. If like, so you live in Boston or Miami or Chicago or Los Angeles or whatever, and you're in that location, you might be like, well, wait, I'm not going to travel to a better location. But keep that in mind. I want to say that as a very important side note, the number one factor that really does determine how much money you can make as a driver is your location. And there's a bunch of other elements of factors within that. I have the entire video listed below in the description if you want to check it out. But now jumping to the main point of this video. Okay, besides your location, how do you really make the most amount of money as a driver? And it's one word, and that is analytics. In case you don't know, I'm a former accountant, so obviously numbers and statistics were in my life for a while. And the biggest thing I see so many drivers not doing is tracking. So when I started driving, I remember being like, okay, I'm actually going to write down when I drove, where were the surge rates? How much money did it make on average? How long or short were my rides? And obviously, in the beginning, as you can imagine, Friday and Saturday nights, super popular. 7 to 9 a.m., 5 to 7 p.m., or basically the morning and evening commutes, super popular as well. However, there were certain things I started to notice. For example, take the morning. I obviously noticed that from 7 to 9 a.m., like I said, was a great time to drive. It's right before 9 a.m. when most people start work. But I noticed something very interesting. Maybe you have it as well. I noticed that most of my rides, not too surprising back in Boston, went from kind of the residential area to in the city. And with the morning traffic and whatnot, I'd say I could do maybe one to two rides in an hour. Sometimes just one. Because if you think about it, typically I bring somebody into the city and then have to go back out to the residential area. So typically it was actually just one ride, especially if let's say it was a peak surge pocket. But one unique thing I noticed even going deeper into the analytics was if I took a ride, let's say around 8, 10 a.m., right? 8, 10 a.m., I obviously would bring the person to work, the surge would drop, boom, that was pretty much the last ride I had for that morning commute period. However, if I waited till 8.20, or the magic number for me was like around 8.25 to 8.30, the surge would be higher. So I was actually better off waiting, either just turning off the app or even just canceling ride after ride, wait for the surge to get as high as possible, and then I would accept a ride. As counterintuitive as it was, I would drive from 7 to about 8-ish a.m., get back to the residential area, I'd wait 20 minutes, cancel the rides or turn off the app, wait for it to get to a certain surge pocket again usually around 825 that was like around the magic number then i pick somebody up and by that point it'd be a high enough surge because everybody is trying to get to work and i make way more money than if i actually started working 20 minutes earlier now this is just one example but the biggest thing i suggest to so many drivers is every city is different every city has different climates it has very very different driving styles and the biggest thing you should do as much as you can i know it sounds weird is really look at the analytics. That's really the number one way to make the most amount of money. You, you can see morning commutes versus evening commutes, Friday and Saturday nights. I've talked about this before in other videos that, for example, I found I could make a lot of money doing what I like to call the pregame hours. So let's say from 5 p.m. to like 8 p.m., I would drive people to like say when they're pregaming, getting ready to go to their friends' places before they go out. Then I could still have my Friday and Saturday nights if let's say I wanted to go out. Let's say I had a DJ gig, whatever the case was. However, I would have not known about the pregame hours or become aware of it if i didn't really track all my analytics and track when was i making the most amount of money driving track all my analytics and that way in the future i can optimize my driving to make the most amount of money possible